Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back along to another episode of the Debt Free Farm Challenge. My name is Simulation for the Nation, and you join me as we're selling off the last of our barley for the season. This is our own. Uh, we only had one field there. We harvested it on our live stream, and we got a little bit of money left. So we've got a trailer and about a third, maybe a bit more, but yeah, not too much in there. Uh, and now we're going to go and rumble right back up the hill. Uh, well, we're going to, well, we've got a few things that we want to do today. Let's be around the corner. Now we're going to uh, rocket our way up the hill, but like I say, uh, we are going to... We've got a little bit of time around the yard to do. I've changed some things to giant tennis, so we have a little bit more space. We're going to shift the combine. If the weather's right, we might start on the contract. We're going to do some fertilizer spreading, because that's a quick and easy contract to get done. And we're going to look at some mows and probably start some mowing as well that we've... Uh, We've acquired some new mows. If you didn't watch the live stream there the other day uh, on Monday afternoon, uh, we, we've upgraded our mows again. Uh, the Alpine extension has really afforded us with a great opportunity that we can't really say no to, to be honest. There. So we, that's uh, exactly what we've done. Uh, and we're going to get cracking with that one. So yeah, we're really making some good, good progress. I have returned the round baler, but now, uh, beautiful as it was, uh, we just didn't need it. Um, and it was. Nice to get some different bales in, but yeah, it's gonna be. We've got a lot of uh, we've got a lot of bailing of our own to do with our big coon, so we'll just hang on to that one uh, for now there and see how it gets going. So yeah, ultimately everything is looking good. Uh, we've been a busy old week again for the channel. There's some great streams. There's a few things that I, um, that we're going to be looking into here really with the channel. Uh, a few different. Bits of news ready to fill you in with as we uh, as we get through this. Um, so this, the first one is uh, we are. There's a new hashtag going around with this with the channel at the moment. It's hashtag 15k before Christmas Day. Now it's a big stretch. But obviously, you will know that not so long ago we uh, we hit um, 14,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool in its own right. Big thank you to everyone who's joined recently. That really does mean an awful lot. Uh, we're creeping our way on up towards the uh, 15k mark, so we're about 14,100 right about now. And what we're trying to do, it's possible, it'd be difficult, but it is possible for us to hit 15,000 subscribers before Christmas Day. Now, if we do that, I'm thinking of having some kind of celebratory um, live stream for, for charity uh, in the new year. Now, the length has yet to be determined. I can tell you one thing, it won't be 24 hours long. Uh, definitely won't be that long, uh, but that's all needs to be figured out—the how and the when and, uh, and the where, but and the, the who as well, which charity will be supported for. But it's, it's certainly something that is uh, is something I feel like would be a good effort to do. So we're going to see, look into that one. But it does need your help. We do need to get towards 15,000 subscribers to be able to do that. There. So if you haven't done so, do hit that subscribe button. Um, encourage your friends, tell your neighbours, uh, your teachers co-workers whoever it may be let them know to come along and subscribe uh, and we'll see how we get on there but yeah that's gonna be pretty cool uh, i might do like six hours i might do a bit more who knows might be 12 i don't know but we'll figure that one out when the time comes uh elsewhere though we are as many of you do know we're kind of entering towards the the end of meadow grove we're kicking on a little bit doing a lot of work getting a lot of things taken care of uh which is good so uh wrapping up the series there bit by bit and we're trying to kind of get ourselves in but the what that does mean is that a lot of people have asked me about this in the past and I've always declined because it was always active but I am going to be speaking to the relevant uh, people involved to get their respective permission there to see if I can actually release Meadow Grove as it is my my series uh, release it for a download release the game save and release the map uh, let you guys go with it really uh, so let me know down below in chat if that's something that you would like to do. I think that there's been a lot of... Uh, oh, we're still to get that bail, by the way. That's ours. Um, I feel like there has been a bit of... a bit of a, a, a good, strong reception towards that idea, so I'd love to know your feelings and thoughts about that as well. So let me know, uh, and we can see what we do. It won't be until we finish, of course, uh, by which point uh, we'll be on to Chalentin Valley, uh, which is looking magnificent with every passing week, I must say, folks. Really, really is. Uh, but that will be the that will be the plan there, at least. Uh, now well, I just made a mistake there. I should have stopped back at the yard there because the next field we're going to with the combine is field six. 
but we will come back down when we need to because I don't think we might move the combine down but that may be, might be about as far as it goes for that today I want to get the yard all buttoned up first let's just scoot around here wonderful and we'll get ourselves all in but yeah like I say elsewhere everything else is fantastic there uh, the channel is coming along very very well the uh, live streams have still been as popular as ever had some great live streams over the weekend northern coast is really kicking off as well uh, and that is starting to look very very good indeed so like I say uh, if you don't if you haven't checked those ones out please make sure you come along it's good fun there we like to make sure we all uh, have a good time in those uh, and it's all looking good uh, I do believe that West Newton Farm as well is very very close to being released itself uh, on consoles which is brilliant news I know a lot of you have been asking about that it's in the final kind of stages between Giants and NM Modern so hopefully Hopefully it's not too far away, and if that is the case, then uh, you guys are in for a treat, let me tell you. Uh, yeah, it's such a good map, really, really is. Now, you'll see around here we have our straw over there. Now, that straw is... We're probably... Probably just going to sell that straight off, you know, and the reason I say that is just because... Uh, well, the price of straw and the difference between now and, say winter it's not much really we're probably looking at about five six pounds a thousand liters so just to get it out of the way here so i don't want to stack it and then stack it kind of thing we might just shift it sooner rather than later uh, i think so that's something we're probably gonna get the rolling trailer onto today we might not take it straight away but we'll get it loaded up anyway get it ready to roll if i manage to get this trailer around the corner like flipping the wall oh that's not gone too well let's try that again ah, no we'll go that way Let's stick this back at where it belongs, up along the back end of the shed there, out of the way. Yeah. I did do a little bit of change around this yard here, you're going to see what I was fiddling with in just a, um, in a moment or so. Making us a little bit more space for, for us to be able to work with here. So we'll just dot this one back around here. Happy days. Right. So, let's just go and hook up onto the Roland for now, I think. Uh, no, actually, we won't. That's alive. We're going to get the fertilizer spinner around because there's a quick contract we can do with that. Didn't take us too much. Uh, and what we're also going to do... In fact, no, again, change my mind. I want, to move the, I want to move a few things around because uh, we're going to be needing these sooner rather than later. The next thing we're going to need probably is the rake actually because I think what we'll do is get ourselves tied up here and then go and start some mowing. So we'll put the lovely new Pottinger rake onto the 78. And I'll turn my beacons off for once. There we go. A miracle I remember to do that. I do love that rake. I think this looks fantastic. Uh, so like I said, we did change our mowers out. Uh, they are hidden around the corner here. Our sheep are doing well. Sheep are looking very, very good. Uh, we have gone for... we got Pottinger mowers now. It's not the, exactly the matching kit there, but I love this front Pottinger mower. I think this looks beautiful. The mechanism on it is great as well. So we're going to start with that. Um, now, we might need to swap these around. I think we could be being a little bit ambitious with the 3650, but these real uh, Pottinger mowers don't require a great deal of power. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm curious. And I really hope it does work, but... Uh, it might be asking a little bit too much so uh, maybe we'll get that swapped around but i just wanted to pick these up from the store like this so we can uh, in fact no we'll we'll get this swapped around right about now uh and then this shed's gonna have uh once again i'll have the rakes uh the rake and the balers and the combine stored in here over the uh winter months uh, but yeah, again, look at the detail on this back end of the pottinger mower here just stunning it really really is now what i did over here uh, I've moved a few things around there, giving us a little bit more space so I can actually move these bales to one side or the other so I can get more bales in there, which is going to be pretty crucial. 
Put the valve up there for now, and then just poke this over here, I think. Wonderful. Uh, and then uh, this can go into the rake in due time, I reckon. Uh, what we'll do is just leave it over there, though. For now, silage bill stack continues to get bigger bit by bit, little bit by little bit there. Uh, we're really going to start to bring that out. This next load that we're going to do is quite a substantial little field, actually. Damn, looking good. And we've got quite a big field to do. I decided that we're going to just take a chance. We're going to do a big silage contract because it's worth a lot of money. Essentially, it pays off the mowers already. Um, so we'll get that one done and then like I say we'll we're gonna use the uh, get to check that one there as well we're gonna use the uh, roller trailer to take those square bales away and to sell those off straight away get that done and that's said there and then we're pretty much looking good we're all taken care of there we go Looks neat. Listen to the rattle of that tractor just rolling over there. Beautiful. So how's everything going with you folks? I hope it's all very well. Do let me know down below what you're getting on with there. So needlessly switch off. Uh, let me know yeah what you worked on. Watch, uh, which maps you're on. How your debt free farm is going. If you are indeed getting uh, stuck into it. Let's know how it's coming along there. Always keen to know. And if you haven't done so, of course, you can uh, come and show off your progress within the uh, debt free farm section of the Discord server. Uh, links for which are in the description down below. Uh, but that can be left there. And uh, now, as I mentioned, as we come on into our contract menu. And as you can see, within our contracts here, we've got field 46 is going to be our big one to jump onto there. There's a few sewing contracts coming to the top, but check out the number of bailing contracts. They just stay and stay and stay. Uh, so 46 is just down past the stables here. So it's a fair size. It, uh, it takes some mowing, that's for sure. But we'll, uh, we will get that all done and uh, dusted. Uh, and I think we'll just go get that started now, actually. Uh, so we'll take down the 77. The 49, uh, 70, oh, the 49.55 is all round to go still on the baler. Again, still eagerly anticipating the arrival of the uh, of 4D Modern's masterpiece there. Can't be too far away, I'm sure. Uh, let's just go out this way. We're gonna solve on Nova. Any more still get the lights on that. I love that dominator. It's so good to have that back there and get that working. Cannot wait to get some more of my own ground. And that field there, now that it has been pretty much all clear, as soon as you get that straw sold off, is this gonna be uh, turned into or plowed over? We're gonna extend the land on it as well so we can uh, plow in all the grass on the side there so we can make a bigger field. And then we are all looking good. I am. And what we might actually do right about now, once we get ourselves down to the field there, I'm going to sell the drill that we currently have. I'm going to buy a new drill. A drill that I've been using on my Deddy server um, with my uh, channel members, and it is beautiful. It is another covalent drill, as it goes, but oh, is it ever nice. Up the hill, come on now. Oh, what a beast. Now what we could have done as well, we could have gone for a, a different front mode which has less detail, it does have the contour control on the front there, but you know what? It wasn't the same. It was not the same. It looks beautiful this one. And one thing about the Alpine extension, some people don't like it, you know, and I can understand why they might not see it of being much used to them, but the detail on, on the modeling is just out of this world. Really, even on things like things you might perceive to be a bit ordinary, like a three meter cultivator, the modeling is out, it's just insane. It really is so. Be curious to see how that looks. Oh, another couple of bales there. Once again, that might be me. Stick around the corner. Alright, so here are our stables on the right. We're going to go just a little bit past that, and there's going to be a big field down there on our left. Field 46, which I do believe I've done on the contract before on the server once or twice, but I hope we'll, we'll rattle it out anyway. 
I, even did, I think I might have done it last year actually as well. It certainly does ring a bell. Yeah, we ho well, hopefully, we've already got 50 sheep at the moment there, which is a great start. I think we might maybe kick that up because we're going to have a little bit of hay left by the time we get through all our own land. We're going to try and do one more cut on some of our own ground next. We need hay. So we'll try and get that done. Uh, what's that weather looking like tomorrow? Today, today, today. Tomorrow is not too bad, actually. So we might try and get that done uh, tomorrow with the idea that, yeah, you know, maybe we can. Uh, Maybe we can get that made so we can get some more uh, taken care of there as well, so. Or in fact get it mowed down for the rest of today, because today is a good drying day actually, so we'll probably get this field mowed down and then we'll go and tackle... Uh, we, we just bailed up 61, so we'll go and tackle maybe uh, 59 and 39 again, something like that. And then we'll be looking good, that way we can get plenty more sheep on the go. And not be too concerned about the numbers there, really. Let's set that away. Look at that go. Now these rear dip modes don't require too much in terms of... There we go, need to be turned on. Don't require too much in terms of power. I believe about 110 horsepower is sufficient. But at the same time, we're cracking out 8.1 meters working with now. Which just can't be argued with really, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool idiot. And look at that front mower go. Now we're doing 7 right now, we're pushing up a fairly steep hill there, so... I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy with that, in fact. Now, which way am I going to use the GPS in this field? Ah, we can go either, I guess. I don't think it's really going to be a right or wrong way with the shape of this field and the layout. Of course, there's a contract, so quite how close we need to get to the edge of the field is uh, debatable, really, I guess. There you go, 13 miles an hour. We're cooking on gas. Let's just get GPS on, get our A line. Our B line. Auto width. And just make sure we'll quick check, sense check of the lines. There we go. And voila, looking good. There you go, that's our edge. Good curve. So really when you see it, it's not going to be a very big field here at all. So we're going to kind of rush through this I reckon, hopefully nice and quickly. Uh, we'll time lapse a little bit of it just to kind of see out the rest of the video here I reckon. So uh, if you want to sit back, grab something to drink and we'll, uh, we'll get this knocked out nice and quickly here.
Well, folks, look at that machine. It's flying along here. We just knocked it all off to give it a bit of a breather, but the, uh, oh, the GPS is working well. I'm sure you'll agree that uh, we're going to keep flying through this. We're knocking this down very, very quickly there. So it should make mincemeat of the rest of this field. Then we'll take it back home and do the home fields for the hay. We're looking good. Uh, we're going to leave it here, though. I've been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. We'll be back uh, on the Debt Free Farm Challenge over the course of next weekend, coming for another live stream. So. Make sure you stick around for that one and we will see you all in the next one. Till then, have yourself a great day, enjoy what you're doing, and we shall see you later.